Hey everyone, this is Disc Junkie and I don't have a shirt on. But that's not really important today because today I'm going to show you my Texas Chainsaw Master collection. I thought we would actually do a full run through. I know I've done that before but I felt that there are some new stuff in here and it's been quite a while since I did the last one so uh, yeah let's just go ahead and see what I have. Before anything else just want to mention this is just releases of the first movie. I don't really collect the other movies. So uh, first up here we have a Black Maria box set and this is a t-shirt box. It doesn't actually contain the movie on in any format it's just a box with a t-shirt and some posters and yeah yada yada and it was put out by uh, Fright Rags which is a pretty cool company. Here we have just an empty uh, VHS case it's a sample sleeve from a German company uh, which is called uh, VPS. Slight different quality to the other sleeves this one is uh, much thinner and comes with a print on the reverse side for another movie. Here's a Swedish version uh, released by House of Horrors. Then we have the Black Maria 40th anniversary Blu-ray box from America. Next up is a Lebanese bootleg copy. It's a VHS tape. Then we have like a German DVD version, limited edition, sort of a weird chainsaw design that was also released in Austria. Basically identical packaging in case you want to know. Here is uh, Australian stuff. Basically a lot of versions, a lot of duplicates, but there's a reason why I have them. First one here is VHS from KTEL Video. It's actually an empty case and it has a beta sticker on it. Next up we have same one in its original case actually and this is uh, actually a Betamax copy. There weren't actually beta size clamshells for this so they just had the same case doubling for VHS or beta. Another copy is also in its original case and this has the VHS in it. Next up this is also an Australian release, but I'm pretty sure that it's a bootleg. You know, the print is actually not in the same quality as it is on this original one. I don't know if you can see it, but it actually has like the frame is actually like a silvery print, whereas on this it's just very light gray. But I don't know, it's possible that this was like a New Zealand print. I don't know. This is original case, uh, original sleeve insert thingy, but sadly I don't have a tape for it. But this is also Australian from KTEL Video. It's a reissue version, more of a retail copy, also official from Australia. Slightly smaller, but basically the same design. Another Australian version, which I think is a boot. I don't really think it's official. Then we have a Greek copy. Uh, from Scorpion Video. Then more Greek copies. This is actually a original tape but the, the insert is actually a color copy so it's not as good color. This one is however original. Case is slightly damaged but yeah very rare early Greek uh, rental version. Then we get to some Swedish copies of the movie. These are basically identical. Clamshell. Rental clamshell with a lot of stickers. Big clam. This is the first ever Swedish VHS rental version. It was actually recalled and the movie was banned back in the 80s. Smaller retail clamshell version. Another one, same as the one on the top there. Another retail version. And the last retail version in Sweden. Here's a deck of cards. Here's a cassette tape, which I don't really actually know what's on it. Uh, don't really have think it has anything to do with the movie apart from you know that the band or whatever stole their name or album I don't know tried to play it but I think it's blank I think think it got erased at some point the 40th anniversary uh, collector's edition from uh, France DVD box set and we get to my Japanese tapes this one is actually a Betamax copy and we have a VHS with the same cover Another Japanese VHS, and another one, and another one. Moving down, here we have some kind of metal figure. I can't remember exactly how this was released, but I think it was like released together with a magazine or something, which I don't have. And we have a signed photo in the background. Here is a Texas Chainsaw Massacre video game Atari cartridge. This is actually one from Brazil, so it's not the regular wizard video variation. And here's another small Texas Massacre figure. 
This is a um, actually a vintage pin uh, which came as a uh, promotional item uh, back when they were screening this like in the cinemas. Here is the Super 8 release, Super 8 real abridged version from Ivor Film Services in the UK. This is uh, the first VHS released in the UK. It comes in a dual function uh, VHS case. So it can hold either a VHS or beta or two Super 8 reels. And the reason why there's a weird sticker on that is because this is actually a copy which was imported uh, to Sweden. And it was uh, used as the first ever rental version in Sweden. And this sticker is from one of the companies which distributed it on the Swedish rental market. So this is a sticker from Europa Film. Commonly these copies don't have any stickers on them when they first appeared uh, in the UK. Here's another UK release. This is a Super 8 and this is also an abridged version. I don't think it's exactly the same uh, as the uh, Ivor Film Services one. As I recall there are some very slight differences. Here is a Leatherface uh, sound effects thing from uh, Horror Screamers. Basically just has one sound which isn't even from the movie but still. Uh, this is a bootleg release from a company called Dutch Oven and it's basically a straight audio dub of the entire movie. Basically because uh, the film never, you know, you could never buy the movie soundtrack or original music score, uh, you know, the masters were destroyed or something so you can only get it with the audio dubbed over, I mean like all the dialogue so it's like a weirdo bootleg soundtrack version. This is a CED disc from Vestrom Video, also Wizard Video, and this came out in America. Now behind here is actually some stuff that's not TCM related, just crammed some other laser discs in there, so yeah, that's just, just fronting, fronting that. Here is a figure from Living Dolls, or Living Dead Dolls, they're actually Living Dolls, I think the real dolls are, what, what? From Living Dead Dolls, looks like that. Here's another figure. I generally don't collect uh, Leatherface figures, but here's a figure which got us a gift. Here is uh, a VHS version from the UK. This is the fourth or possibly fifth, I think it's the fifth release from Ivor Film Services. So that's a rental. The American Laserdisc version, and behind it we have another American Laserdisc version. Then we have the newly released limited edition uh, Blu-ray box set from uh, Germany. I've reviewed that separately. Here is a German Laserdisc, and then we have a Japanese Laserdisc. Let's turn that over so you can see it. There we go. In case you have any questions or you see something here that you want to know more about, you can just leave a comment and, uh, you know, a lot of this is stuff I have already reviewed. Just give me a shout out and I'll try to tell you more about that specific version. This is basically a small section where I put some of the uh, separate or standalone documentary sets. Well, first off we got this. This is a German DVD keep case, which comes in a generic... Uh, liquid style blood pack. Pretty common DVD keep case, but the blood pack was exclusive to a store called Cyber Pirates, as I believe. As far as the documentaries go, we have uh, The Shocking Truth, and this is the HMV exclusive version from the UK, which actually contained a bonus CD. It's a single uh, for uh, the track Fool for Blonde, one of the few regular music tracks that appears throughout the film. It was performed by Roger Bartlett and Friends. And we have what I think is a Canadian VHS version for Family Portrait. I think this is also Canadian. It's a DVD, Family Portrait Revisited. This is a German DVD. Uh, I can't remember which documentary this is, but either Family Portrait or Shocking Truth, one of those. Oh, this is really cool. This is a promotional screener copy of Texas Chainsaw Massacre The Shocking Truth. This is actually an American version can see here and uh, that is actually pretty unusual because the movie wasn't really distributed in America as a standalone VHS. There were NTSC coded copies released and sold by exploited films but those were mainly like print on demand so you know they came in the same case as the UK version so they were distributed from the UK but they were in the NTSC so I don't know if that would qualify as an official a US version. Then we have Japanese documentaries pack on DVD. Two DVD keep cases in a really awesome looking sturdy uh, cardboard box. There's a Malaysian copy and this is actually a combo pack featuring the first movie and the fourth one that everyone sort of tries to forget about. Very weird combo variation. 
Spanish version for the first movie, despite the cover which might suggest otherwise. Another Spanish version and another Spanish version also for the first movie, even though the picture on the cover is actually from part 3. Another Spanish version, very interesting artwork on this. Another Spanish version and this is actually from Argentina. Then we have three tapes, basically the same issue, just different formats. So here we actually have VHS, Video 2000, yes! This is the actual Video 2000 copy, I really don't see a lot of those. And the Betamax copy. Now sadly my Betamax copy is just a Betamax sleeve and then it has VHS inside. So if anyone has this on Betamax and want to trade it or want to sell it to me, be sure to let me know. But anyway, here is the cover for this. They all have the same cover. Then we have this, which is a Finnish VHS from Future Film. Here's a French version. Here is a... Oh, what the fuck is this? Is this, is this Danish or Australian? I can never really remember. But this is the one from Vipco. I can't remember. UK version. Here is one from... where is this? This is from the Netherlands, released by a company called Dutch Filmworks. Another Dutch version, earlier version from Converge Video. Here is a very early uh, Canadian version from Astral Films. And this is actually a Betamax copy in a VHS sleeve. I know that they made Betamax size sleeves, so it's a shame that I don't have one that matches, but it's got a weird cardboard thingy insert which makes it fit into the VHS style things. Here is the second UK version from Ivor Film Services. Here is a Betamax copy of uh, a release from the Wizard Video in the US. Here's the same release but on VHS. Here is the Betamax version from Media Home Entertainment. That's American too. Here's the Italian version from, I don't know, some company, Scorpion. Scorpion? Isn't Scorpion a Greek company? No, oh, whatever. Italian or, or Greek, I can't remember which. Then we have, uh, let's see, this is uh, American one from Video Treasures. And then we have the American version from MPI Home Video. That's all of the carton variations that I have lined up here. Move down here, see what we have. A bit of a bootleg corner. Here are actually two tapes which are just uh, duplicates. So these are basically for sale. But uh, let's see, here is a German bootleg version. Another German bootleg, basically the same cover. This, I have no idea where this came from, but it looks like a bootleg or very weird variation uh, of the uh, Vipco version. Another weird bootleg, which sort of rips off of the uh, American Laserdisc cover. Found uh, that at the flea market, so no idea where it came from. And this is, uh, you know, this is kind of awkward. It's the exception to the rule saying that this is just the first film. Because this is actually not the first movie. This is actually my sort of uh, slight porn uh, corner. In case you didn't know that they existed. The porn spoof variation of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. There are actually two, as far as I know, two movies which spoof the original TCM. This is the first one, Texas Dildo Mask Raid, starring, among others, uh, the famous porn actor Ron Jeremy. I actually have a Japanese VHS copy of the same, and there it's actually just called the Text Chains of Massacre XXX. And uh, there you got, uh, yeah, the villain, which is called Pussyface. Ah, distracted by porn, always. Next up, we got some big clamshell variations, probably biggest of all, at least in terms of the height. This is a very early version from Canada, and this is actually a Betamax. Then we have a UK variation. Here is one from Brazil. Then we have a UK uh, preserved version, it's a Betamax copy. And we have the same one on VHS. Here's an extremely unusual Korean version, and this is in fact the first movie, even though the cover would suggest that uh, it's a movie from a different universe. Then we have a very early uh, Dutch rental one from VML, or Video Movies Leerdam, and uh, here is the other version, or other cover variation from the same company. And these cases, these are... If the Canadian one was the one with the most height, this is definitely the one which is the widest. I mean, look 
at least the comparison. I mean, look at the comparison. This is like a regular wide clamshell. Then you get to here, and it's like, what the fuck happened? So yeah, if you actually want to fit the inserts on these in a clamshell, you have to get like the original badass motherfucking big ass clamshells from the Netherlands from VML. Uh, because these inserts don't actually fit in regular clamshells which is also why this particular copy is always almost almost always cut as you can actually see they actually cut the T off because they can't fit it into regular clamshell and moving along we have a Danish VHS copy looks like this and here's basically the same just a duplicate here's a German VHS copy later release. Here are some Blu-ray keep cases. 3D style variation from... Uh, where is this? This is German. Japanese, American, UK, Swedish, another Swedish one. And this is actually the American uh, from the Black Maria box. I just put it here to keep track or whatever. Oh yeah, this is a DVD release. Oh. Where, where the hell is this from? It's a, oh yeah, it's, it's a Chess, Chess DVD release. And then we have the German um, heart box editions. Here's the small one. Here are all the new ones, which came out like a year or so ago. This is basically just, you know, why I have two of each is because it's the Blu-ray and the DVD variation. So the covers are basically the same. Just move through these. There we go. And then we also have all of the old hardbox releases for DVDs. Well, these are German. I think these are Austrian. I can't remember. These are from Turbine. These are from XT Video. So these are the old ones. These are the new ones. Ah, there we go. Okay. Oh, God, my legs are killing me. Moving down to the last row here. Um, we have... A whole bunch of keep cases. Here is a uh, German one, another German one, a third German one with a 3D cover, same as we saw on the Blu ray earlier. UK version, another UK version, another UK version, Swedish rental keep case copy, another Swedish rental keep case, another. I was gonna say Swedish. This is the Swedish one. Here is actually a finish, as I recall, but it's the same design. Here is a, another Swedish version, another Swedish DVD version. This one is from Australia. This is from Spain. This is from Mexico. This is from uh, Brazil. This is also from Brazil. This is from America. This is from Korea, I'm pretty sure. And this is from uh, Hungary, Hungary, I think. And this is from uh, Future Film in uh, Finland. And this is from uh, Australia. Let's try to get some room here. First up, we have an uh, Australian DVD release. This one, I believe, is from the Netherlands. Here is an Italian one. It's Japanese. This is Turkish. Very unusual to see a version from Turkey. This is a later release from Spain, like the 40th anniversary edition, but on DVD. Here is a Swedish steelbook. And we have another steelbook, exactly the same design, um, which uh, this is from Denmark or Finland or Scandinavia, at least, but it's the same design. Here is a, the American Steelbook version, the UK Steelbook version, and I actually have two of those because one of them is like a screener copy, so it actually doesn't have artwork on the discs, which is kind of weird. Here is the UK Steelbook, the new Blu-ray uh, Steelbook version. Here's an Australian, very weird uh, metal slip case for over a regular DVD key case. Uh, yeah, this is uh, extremely rare. This is a steel book from XT Video, who released the uh, all those heart boxes back in the day. And this one was actually recalled. They basically made all the steel books, but uh, then when they were about to release them, they lost the rights, so they weren't couldn't legally sell them. And so they were ordered destroyed, and uh, well, rumor has it one sort of case made it onto the market somehow. So yeah. Uh, 
rumored to exist in around 30 copies and this is one of those. And then we have a UK version which has the cover on the wrong side apparently. Let's see. There we go. And this is the same version, I think. Yeah. The only real difference between the two is that this one has a sticker on it because I think it was released in Scotland or something. So it's the same but it has the Scottish Scottish rating or something. There's another UK version, also Digipack. We've sort of left the keep cases now, so this is like collector's edition copies. This is a French version, Dutch version, Australian, American, the infamous meat pack variation. And we have a Swedish copy. Spanish Diggy Pack, later Spanish Diggy Pack Blu ray version. I think this is Italian, Italian Diggy Pack. And we have uh, another uh, French one, keep case, slip case. Here's a Thai copy, also has the cover on the wrong side. Very weird artwork. And we have another Italian copy. And this is a German one, uh, also from, from Turbine, who released the uh, the later Heartbox editions. Another one from Turbine. And uh, yeah, this is actually a custom made Diggy Pack. So this is like one copy only. Uh, and it was made by a bunch of guys in. a bunch of Hungarian guys or something. I can't remember. But yeah, custom made version. Uh, this is the American uh, 40th Anniversary Collector's Edition Diggy Pack. Very nice looking slipcase. And this is the 40th Anniversary regular. I don't really care about movies version, DVD, keep case, uh, in a slip case. There's a Japanese collector's edition, very sturdy DVD box set. Getting to the end here, we just have some sort of collector collection box sets, which has a bunch of other movies, but also has uh, text chains. So this is a, a Swedish one called Studio S and the Video Violence, sort of chronicling uh, the age of video violence and what happened in Sweden with the movie getting banned and whatnot. Here's just like a very cheap ass Swedish uh, combo pack for three films. Here's another one of those sort of things, um, which, uh, yeah, also from Sweden. So those last ones aren't very interesting. But yeah, that is pretty much fucking it, I think. If you enjoyed this and you like this video and you like my text chains of stuff in general, maybe you want to subscribe, seeing as I'm such a fucking interesting guy. But yeah, that's it. Really hope you enjoyed this. Hope you click the like and the subscribe button and leave a bunch of comments and stuff. Not too many, but you know, some in case you have actual questions that are of importance. So thank you, and as usual, I hope to see you all next time.